Good afternoon. My name is Alan Koh. Today's talk is on benign prostate enlargement, more appropriately called benign prostate hyperplasia. Um, if you look at the glands at the bottom of the urinary bladder, it's just about there where there are three loops there. And these are the gland that produces the um, fluid that carries sperm uh, during ejaculation. And as the prostate enlarges, which happens to almost all men as they grow older, it can press on the urinary tube and prevent urine from fully being evacuated after a series of contraction of the urinary bladder. So today I'm going to talk about how energy medicine brings about the support to our body's self-healing processes to help this condition to improve, particularly electric energy treatment and magnetic energy treatment. So as these prostate cells enlarge, they, they just tend to block the urine coming out. Therefore, our objective is to reduce the size of the prostate glandular cells so that it starts unblocking the channels of urination. A small amount of prostate enlargement happens uh, to many, many people over 40 years old, but over 80 years old, we are talking about 90% of men uh, who gets this uh, blockage of urine coming out. And they usually need to wake up two or more times per night to urinate and therefore may disturb their sleep pattern and some even more frightening, they may experience urinary retention or uh, weak urine stream. In fact, the complications of such a progression of the disease is a sudden inability to urinate even more frightening than a weak urine stream. And other complications from this sluggish urine flow will be urinary tract infections, formation of urine stones, uh, damage to the kidneys, particularly the condition called hydronephrosis, and even blood in the urine, and even after surgical treatment, a recurrence of prostate benign hypertrophy may develop over time. So it's not all that fantastic. After surgical treatment, still the enlargement starts again, and then you might need another surgery, and we've got not that, ma that many <laughs> chance to do surgery. One thing is the cost. The other thing is the age. As we grow older and older, and this is an old man disease, really, um, and therefore it's not very um, appropriate unless we've got no other options. Now there's such an as energy medicine, and there are a lot of cells in our body that work this way. If the frequency or the bar resonance in there is weak, they compensate by enlarging. So I'm talking about this abnormally enlarged prostate cells. Now, as you send pulse electromagnetic fuel to bombard back, to vibrate or increase the bar resonance of the prostate cells, they could actually, like many people who use such energy treatment, they are Prostate actually from abnormally enlarged, they shrink back to, towards more normal size. Then the urination frequency automatically uh, reduces uh, overnight ur urination. Electric energy treatment, in fact, is even more important. When all the prostate cells are charged from 30, 50 millivolts, which are weak electrical activity, right up to 70, 90 millivolts, which is very healthy electrical activity. And we most, at, at this level, you can see the next slide that a lot of oxygen and nutrients go in to strengthen back uh, the functioning of these uh, prostate cells. And a lot of toxins, harmful chemicals are flushed out, making this cell particularly healthier and therefore the disease retreats. Oxygen is a fuel that runs our body's biochemical reactions. Metabolisms, all those uh, improve because of oxygen. And same as nutrients, they are the uh, building blocks to build enzymes, hormones. And that will support prostate cells and averting the diseases of uh, hypertrophy and help in the repair and recovery processes. Pulse magnetic field treatment, uh, this enhances blood flow to the uh, urinary tract and therefore bring more oxygen and nutrients towards those cells for the electrotherapy to further uh, adsorb them into those cells. 
And same as nutrients, transport of nutrients from the digestive tract will also be through our blood vessels to the prostate cells. And therefore, diseases in general would be a function of our blood flow. The better the blood flows to that, an area, that area's disease or weakness can actually revitalize, recover. And if it's a healthy area, you improve blood flow there, it remains, or that those cells in the area remains healthy for longer periods of decades. Manifold treatment also, uh, uh, therefore rather, complements the electric energy treatment because if you've got more oxygen and nutrients in the vicinity of the cells, electrotherapy will work better to absorb more in. But if there's not enough transportation uh, done by manifold treatment to the area, then there won't be enough oxygen and nutrients going to the cells despite electric energy treatment. So the two added together, manifold therapy and electrotherapy, absolutely um, synergizes the effectiveness of the prostate uh, enlargement being reduced further. Manifield treatment also direct relief, relief pains. That's the most famous part of Manifield is pain reduction. And pelvic pain from any uh, prostatitis can also be reduced just the same. And Manifield also is important because it can boost our immune cells against prostate cancer development against infectious prostatitis. So anything that can play a role in um, enhancing our liver, our prostate disease can now be uh, reversed by boosting our immune cells. And that's what manifold treatment does with the bar resonance that I mentioned earlier, going into our immune cells instead of the prostate cells now, and the immune cells become more um, uh, they, they resound better, the resonance is better, and therefore uh, they are functioning. Fire and farate, what good does fire and farate do as an energy treatment? You heard about Philips fire and farate lamps and fire and farate saunas, undergarments, and so on. They are to reduce inflammations uh, amongst other benefits. So when the inflammation of the prostatitis improves, prostate enlargement could be reduced. And if there's any pain involved due to any swelling as in inflammation, then because of the reduction of the inflammation or the swelling, the pain will also be reduced. And joining with magnetic field, you've got more pain reduction than just magnetic field uh, treatment reducing pain. Thermosibation is two treatments in one. You've got the thermos, that's a heat treatment. And when you heat up an area, like when, uh, when you heat up the prostate area, the blood supply in that local area will be even better than just magnetic field improving a mild blood circulation to the area. So with more blood flow, as I said earlier on, with magnetic field treatment, therefore more transportation of oxygen and nutrients to the prostate area and out of the prostate area where drainage of toxins and excess fluid retention is concerned. Um, Moxibustion, on the other hand, uh, would be the unblocking of qi flow through the stimulating of, of the local meridian points in the area. So there's both combined uh, west and east meet here, uh, where uh, heat treatment and the uh, stimulation of the meridian points are concerned. Therefore, when you add all these four treatments, energy treatments together, there's no option but for the prostate hyperplasia, the enlargement that's been abnormal to keep on reducing in size, as I've seen in a lot of such patients doing energy treatment. Thank you very much.